In this video, we look at potential changes to global lithium rankings from a huge new deposit in the U.S. Canadian Mining Report is not a financial advisor. This video is for informational purposes only and does not constitute investment advice. Lithium reserves for 2022, with reserves defined as having the highest probability of recovery, are concentrated in a few countries, with Chile, Australia, Argentina, China, and the US at 36%, 24%, 10%, 8%, and 4%, respectively of the total, or a combined 82%. Most of this same group are also the leaders for production, but in a different order, with Australia, Chile, China, and Argentina at 47%, 30%, 15%, and 5% respectively, or 97% of the total. And while the USGS does not report full data for the US, it has only one producing mine with an estimated 1% of world production. Expanding the definition from reserves to resources, which are much larger but with a lower probability of economic recovery, changes the ranking significantly, with Bolivia becoming number one at 22% of the total, and followed by the same leaders for reserves, Argentina, the US, Chile, Australia, and China. There are also many players not ranked highly on reserves that do have major resources, including Germany, Congo, Canada, Mexico, Czech Republic, and Serbia. While the U.S. jumps two places moving from reserves to resources based on 2022 data with 12 million tons, if we add the low-end estimate of 20 million tons for the new U.S. deposit at the Oregon-Nevada border, it jumps to 32 million tons, making it by far the global leader, well above the 21 million tons for Bolivia. And with the higher-end estimate of 40 million tons, the U.S.'s reserves would surge to 52 million tons, higher than the next three countries combined. Countries have been encouraged to start developing their lithium resources by a jump in the lithium price from an average 58,295 Chinese yuan from January 2020 to July 2021 to a peak of 597,500 Chinese yuan in November 2022. And while the price has cooled considerably as supply has started to catch up with the sudden surge in demand, at 185,500 yuan in September 2023, the price is still about three times the level of about two years ago. The rise in lithium demand has been driven by the unexpected gains in electric vehicle sales, with an average 165,000 units per month sold globally from June 2019 to May 2022, which has reached 988,000 units per month from June 2022 to July 2023, with a peak of 1.26 million units reached in December 2022 and June 2023. Prior to the EV boom, global lithium production was growing much more slowly, with long periods of stagnation, averaging 14,500 tons per year from 1997 to 2003, 24,600 tons from 2004 to 2010, and 34,100 tons per year from 2011 to 2016, with a big shift actually starting about six years ago, with an average production of 94,900 tons per year from 2017 to 2022, with new highs reached in 2021 and 2022 at 107,000 and 130,000 tons. The rising production in prices has driven countries to develop their extensive lithium resources into reserves, which will have an upbeat read across for the junior miners in the sector. Total reserves remain very flat for long periods of the three decades from 1997 to 2018, rising 55% from 9 million tons to 14 million tons, but they've jumped 86% to 26 million tons in just the four years from 2019 to 2022. For more information on lithium, other metals, and junior mining companies, click the link in the description or bio below to go to www.canadianminingreport.com.